In this video, we're going to be going over installing Composer and the Laravel installer on your machine. So if we go ahead and go to getcomposer.org and we scroll down, we can click on the Getting Started button. And once we click there, we'll want to click on the Globally. You can either search for this or just click on this right here. And we have instructions on how to install Composer on our machine. So the first step we will want to do is copy this first line and paste this into Terminal or Command Prompt and this will install the Composer executable on your machine. Okay, and after we have done that, then the next command will move the executable to a global directory. So if we paste that in there, and then we can go ahead and clear this out, and now we should be able to type in Composer, and we will see a list of Composer commands, so we can run all of these commands on our machine, since it is now globally accessible. So the next thing that we will want to do is go to laravel.com and we can click on the documentation and then you should see the installation instructions. You can also click on the installation button over here on the left and if we scroll down to installation you'll see where it says installing Laravel. And if we go down a little bit more we have this command that we can install the Laravel installer via Composer. So let's go ahead and copy that and paste that into our terminal or command prompt. Okay, and after that has been completed, now we can go ahead and use our new Laravel command. So we could say Laravel new application. And as you can see, a new Laravel app gets installed into our application folder. So if I CD into the application folder, I can then go ahead and run the PHP artisan serve command. And it will say that I have a local development server start at localhost 8000. So if I go to localhost 8000, sure enough, I see a blank Laravel 5 installation on my screen. So there is one thing that I want to point out is if you type in Laravel new application or Laravel new blog or you try and use the Laravel command and it is not working, you will need to add the composer bin directory to your zshrc or your bash file. Basically, you will need to make it globally available on your machine. And I am going to paste a link below that will show you how to do this. Um, but just in case if you do have problems doing the Laravel new command, then check out the link below the video and it will show you how to make your composer bin globally accessible. So let's move on to talking about the Laravel 5 directory structure.